beautiful boos. I got a video for you guys. I'm going to be putting on these in El Couture nails. And we are actually going to be doing snake skin nails today. I'm super excited. If you're wondering what's on this hand, this is the Gershon Poly Gel collaboration video that I did with Pumpkin Nail Station. That will be linked somewhere through here. But anyways, let's get into this. I went ahead and sized these up so it wouldn't take so much time. Literally put them on like this. And I have got my snake skin here. You know, I've been meaning to like decorate these before. You know you can decorate these before you apply them to the nails, which was not a bad idea. Literally think I might, but you can either glue these on. But if you use clear, you could literally like go ahead and cure them on. But anyways, let's go ahead and get ready and apply these. I am going to be using the base gel from Enel Couture and I just got to find my little flashy lamp thing that I can't find now. Alright, you guys ready? Now this is my non-dominant hand so it does take me a little bit longer to do this side. But I'm really debating on whether I should use poly gel to do these. Mm. All right guys, so I'm going to be applying the base coat with this. Now I do find that it's easier to apply the base coat just in the middle of the nail and in the middle of the natural nail because that way when you push down on the nail it pushes the product out. If you keep it limited like exactly in the middle and not a whole lot, I find that it doesn't have as much push out from the gel from the side walls. Like this has been working really well for me and I've not had any, maybe like the tiniest issue every now and then if I put too much gel. But the less gel you put, the better it is because you're applying gel to your nail and the tip. So you're going to have plenty enough gel. You just need to remember not to apply that much. And then cure for a second. And if you don't, if you can cure long enough to hold it onto the nail, then take a brush that I'm going to do right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe the uncured gel out from underneath my nail. So anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. And let's go ahead and get into this video.
Okay guys, this is what I came up with using the Nail Junkies Acrylics. I used the Madame Glam Dragon Scale Chrome Powders, which is beautiful. I used real snake skin in this set as well, which was sanitized and disinfected. I've had this snake skin for a very long time, at least a year, and it still is good. Um, but it's beautiful. Love it. Um, let me know what you guys think down below, if you like it or not, if you like the colors. It's a little different. I like it. I'm kind of up in the air with it, I guess, because it's been a minute since I've done a design like this. But anyways, I love you guys. Make sure to check out all my discount codes in my description box for the Nail Junkie. It's Melinda Boo. Maniology is Beauty Bee Nails 10 and Rossi Nails is Melinda Conley. I also have a link for for model ones that you can use. And when you use that link, I'm affiliated with them. It does help me out. Um, but, you know, it's totally up to you if you'd like to use that or not. But anyways, guys, I love you all. I hope everyone is being safe and I, I really feel bad for those of you who are suffering with this virus and things like that. My prayers go out to you all. But I love you all. Hope you are having a blessed day. Bye.